What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the shop. Another one of Lou's project cars here. And you've seen in the last video, I did a little walk around and explained what I was doing. Well, I just got the turbo off of this thing. Came off fairly easy. And I got comparison here with the new turbo. And actually, we got pretty close. So, old turbo, new turbo. Now, you may think that these look like the exact same size, but here's the difference. Look at this exhaust wheel on this guy, and then look at this one. I mean, there is a huge difference, and that's what's gonna make this guy spool up a lot faster than this one. So, uh, I had to get a flange for this. This is a, uh, I forgot the name of it, but anyway, gotta get a new flange for that. That'll be coming here today or tomorrow. My goal for today is at least get this on the car and I'm really hoping that the Maven mount, which I'll show you that on the car, this is a Maven mount, I believe. Uh, it's, it's, it's a built in support for the turbo. It's welded straight to the chassis and then it's got an O-ring fitting for a pass through for the oil return. So, oh yeah, look, I didn't even have to take that line off. I can put that right back on. What I'm really hoping is that the new turbo mounts right up to that, right in there, and I'm hoping that that seals. Um, I don't know if it will or not, but we're gonna try it out and see what happens. All right, heck no, we're not gonna get that lucky. The Maven mount will not fit in here. Uh, as you can see, the gap here and the gap here, uh, I think just will not fit in there. So I'm gonna try to do a little grinding on it right now along these edges it looks like maybe somebody has already done that maybe not but i'm going to take a little bit of material off of here on these and see if i can get it to fit in there uh, if that doesn't work i may cut it here put it on the turbo put the turbo in and then re-weld this wherever it wants to be so i'm going to work on that for now all right guys we got this new turbo on here uh, the Maven mount just didn't fit at all. I did all types of grinding to try to get it to work and it just wasn't going to work out. So we did away with that for now. I am going to build a bracket from one of the bolts to the old Maven mount bracket. Um, so other than that, I've got it bolted on the T6 flange and up there we are waiting for the exhaust V-band flange to come in. Should be in today or tomorrow. And then I'm kind of working on the cold side right now. So we got pretty close. The V-band was the same on the turbo, uh, but the turbo orientation was just a little bit different than the old one. So what I did was took a spot where I thought would work best. There was, um, try to get this light. There was two welds in this area right here. Um, so what I did was just, I cut both of them out pretty straight ish and now i'm going to make a piece that fits right in here get it tig welded up and then the cold side's done and once that's done and i get the exhaust flange on and done uh, this thing's probably ready for some ripping so i will keep you updated on this and i will keep you updated on that and then next video we should be driving this car so I'll keep you updated on that and we will go from there. Okay, okay, we got the exhaust flange finally. And I had cut the downpipe off or the old flange for the downpipe off and got it made it pretty decent. I do got a gap on the bottom, which kind of sucks. I was really hoping to get a perfect cut, but shanked it. So I'll just have to um you know, weld up the, the gap or get a filler piece, which really sucks. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to weld as much as I can while it's on the car with the V-band clamp on. You don't want to get this thing too hot to where it warps the V-band and doesn't make a good seal. So we're going to weld that guy up as much as we can, pull the downpipe off, weld the underneath of it, 
and then put it back together. We got some weld on top of there now. Uh, it's not the prettiest. I am not a welder, but I think it looks fine. At the end of the day, this wrap is going to get pulled back over and wrapped over this anyway. So that looks pretty good. And I'm going to let it cool down. I, I did uh, the top half in the car. All the V-band clamps are tight, so it's in place. I'm going to let it cool down before I take these clamps off. I don't want to get it cattywampus or crazy, so that's what we got going on. I'm going to let it cool down. I'm going to pull the downpipe off, weld the whole thing up, and then put it all back on. And then at that point, we can do the cold side, and we're ready to rip. All right, as you see in that last time-lapse video, my buddy Darren come over and helped me weld this thing up and did a phenomenal job as always. I have a TIG welder. I am no TIG welder. So something like this for, especially something that's not mine, I'm not even gonna try to weld it. Uh, I would blow a hole right through this thing it just, it's inevitable. So I just don't do it. I, I threw him some money for him to come do a nice job on this. So now I'm gonna probably clean this pipe up a little bit and make it shiny-er and then put this thing right on there. And then we're gonna hit the streets with this thing. First thing it's gonna do is get a bath because it's filthy. people's faces it's usually a face of what the hell is that and I love it settings in the boost that just really need uh, like calibrated and it's, it's picking up quite a bit it feels pretty good so we're just doing some test rips right now see how it feels it drives way better already first gear rip to see how 
Alright guys, that's going to do it for the ZL1 video. Uh, this was a pretty good project. The whole turbo swap deal and the tune. Uh, driving it around was awesome. We got this thing to spool up pretty quick. We got the two-step button to work. You got the pop and bang. And uh, I think Lou should be pretty happy with how it spools. And The car itself is fast. Like, I don't know what this thing's going to run in the quarter, but for how much it weighs, it hooks up so good, even on the tire that it's on. The suspension and everything is dialed in. Like, it rips. So, uh, that's gonna be it for the video. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. So, thanks, and I'll catch you on the next one.